Hello again and welcome back. In this video we are going to be looking at meanders and the formation of an oxbow lake. Step one, as the river approaches the middle course, the river has more energy and a higher volume of water. The gradient is gentle and we see more lateral or sideways erosion across the valley floor. On the inside bend of the river is a lot slower, has a slower velocity, so more deposition takes place here. And on the outside bend, the velocity is greater, so more erosion takes place on this bank. Step two, the meander starts to become a bit more prominent and starts to curve across the valley floor more because we see less erosion on the inside bank where the energy is less and more erosion taking place on the outside bank due to the erosion and the energy of the river being greater. Step three, now we're starting to see this horseshoe-like turn in the river that we call a meander. This is taking place because we've got more erosion still on the outside bank where the energy is greater and more deposition occurring on the inside banks where the energy is less and the river's velocity is slower. So here we will have still the erosion and then we start to get erosion taking place at the neck of the meander where eventually, where that arrow is, the river will cut through. Step four. Now we have a very prominent meander. It looks like a horseshoe. As you can see there, the river will still flow around this meander. However, it really wants to cut through the neck of the meander. So we've got a lot more deposition taking place here, a lot more erosion taking place at the neck of the meander. And the river will still flow around the meander but depositing more material and, and eroding more material at the neck. Step five, we can now see that the river has completely broken through the neck of the meander creating an oxbow lake as the river continues to flow now in a straighter channel along its course.